When it comes to browsing securely or accessing online services, SSL plays a crucial role. But encountering the SSL Connect Error 5 can be incredibly frustrating, especially when it blocks you from connecting to essential services. As a tech expert, I can tell you this error occurs because of an issue during the SSL handshake, the process that encrypts and secures your connection. The problem could stem from outdated network configurations, interference from your antivirus or firewall, or even issues with the server's SSL certificate. Let's dive into clear and actionable methods to resolve this error step by step. Method 1. Check your network settings. To start, you need to ensure your network is configured correctly. Misconfigured settings or unstable connections can disrupt the SSL handshake and lead to this error. Begin by checking whether your internet is working properly. Test your connection by visiting a few other websites to confirm stability. Open your system's network settings and confirm you're connected to a stable Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. If you're using a VPN or proxy, disconnect it temporarily as these services can sometimes interfere with SSL. Restart your router or modem to refresh your connection as this clears out potential network glitches. This process ensures that your connection is stable and not causing the issue. Method 2. Adjust firewall and antivirus settings. Your antivirus or firewall might mistakenly block SSL connections if it deems them suspicious. This interference is a common cause of SSL errors. Temporarily disabling them can help identify if they're the problem. Open your firewall or antivirus software. Locate the Exceptions or Allowed Apps section in the settings. Add the app or service you're using, like your browser or download manager, to the list. Temporarily disable the firewall or antivirus and test the connection again. If the error disappears, re-enable the software and adjust its settings to allow SSL connections for trusted apps. This ensures your security software isn't blocking legitimate SSL connections. Method 3. Clear browser cache and cookies. Outdated or corrupted SSL data stored in your browser's cache could also cause this error. Clearing it can resolve mismatched or expired information. Open your browser and go to its settings. Navigate to the Privacy or History section and look for the option to clear browsing data. Select Cookies and Other Site Data and Cached Images and Files. Click Clear Data and restart your browser to apply the changes. With a refreshed cache, your browser will fetch updated SSL information, ensuring a smoother connection. Method 4. Update browser and operating system SSL protocols are updated over time, and outdated software may lack compatibility. To avoid this, keep your browser and operating system up to date. Open your browser and check for updates in the Help or About section. Install any pending updates. For your operating system, go to the Update section in your system settings and download the latest updates. Restart your device to ensure the updates take effect. This ensures you're using software with the latest security patches and SSL support. Method 5. Verify date and time settings. SSL certificates rely heavily on accurate system time. If your device's date or time is incorrect, the SSL handshake may fail. Open your system's date and time settings. Enable automatic synchronization for both date and time. If it's already enabled, toggle it off and back on to refresh the settings. Restart your device to ensure the changes are applied. With the correct date and time, your system can verify SSL certificates properly. If none of these methods work, the issue might be server-side. The website or service you're trying to access could have an invalid or expired SSL certificate. In this case, reach out to their support team, explain the error, and wait for their resolution. By following these methods, you'll likely resolve the SSL Connect Error 5 and restore secure access. Whether it's a network issue, a software glitch, or something on the server side, these steps cover all the bases. Troubleshooting SSL errors doesn't have to be overwhelming when you tackle them methodically.